In this topic, let's take a look at process value analysis and learn the significance of process mapping tools. So, what is real value to a customer? Any task will be considered as value adding by customers if it positively transforms a product or information, if it is carried out in the correct manner, and if it is performed right the first time. Any task that is perceived as value adding, the customer is willing to pay for it. Let's now see the definition of process value analysis. Process value analysis is an approach used to analyze every step of a process in detail and spot non-value adding activities that need to be eliminated. Once the as-is process maps are ready, this analysis can be performed. It usually occurs in the measure or analyze phase. This analysis is similar to MUDA or waste identification in lean approach. Therefore, the purposes of a process value analysis are to increase value of process or product, assess all components in the process and the costs involved, present real value to the customer, identify components that can be optimized, and it is a simple way to improve the process for operational efficiency and maximize value to customer. While performing a process value analysis, you may come across three types of activities, such as value-added activities, non-value-added activities, and value-enabling activities. Let's look at each one of them in a little more detail. Value-added activities, or VA, can be recognized and classified as steps that are essential for the process. Can change input into output that customers expect. Are done right the first time. And the customer is willing to pay for them. For example, we have resolving customer query. Filling relevant fields in a form. Receiving payments. And signature on a document. Non-value added activities. NVA can be recognized and classified as steps that are non-essential to the process. Do not change the form of the input in any way. Are repetitive in nature. And the customer is not willing to pay for them. For example, queuing, walking, checking, fixing, and rework. Value enabling activities or VE, can be recognized and classified as steps that are essential to the process. They exist even if customers are not willing to pay for them. They are a precursor to future value-adding activities and help individuals grow. For example, development and training of employees and customers, audits, office administration, and next generation product features. There is a simple way of handling non-value added and value enabled activities. This method requires you find activities that you can eliminate. If that is not possible, then find activities that you can reduce. If reducing is not possible, then find a set of activities that you can combine Finally, if all else fails, find activities that you can simplify.